Happy Sunday, the day before Halloween. I am meteorologist Matt Gray, and we have got some uh, some pretty spooky weather for the last day of October. We're going to have rain moving in tonight, a pretty soggy Halloween forecast for everybody, and then we're going to be watching the snow level start to drop as we head into the backside of this storm Tuesday into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, where some places could see their first snowflakes of the season so something to watch there first let's go through the day and uh, all i could really say is it's going to be wet as that rain spreads across the area especially i-90 to the north in the morning now that is going to shift to the south as we head into the evening this is trick-or-treat time omac republic colville places like that uh, actually should not be so bad for trick-or-treaters however you get a down to I-90, you get areas to the south across the Palouse and into the LC Valley. It is going to be a little bit soggy out there and breezy as well. This is midnight Tuesday, still going strong. That rain starts to pull away and our snow levels start to drop to around 3,000 feet. So that means Tuesday morning, we'll probably be looking for some issues on our mountain passes through Idaho. As we go into Tuesday night, well, it's actually not that bad. We get a little bit of a break, but notice spotty showers coming in already on the far side of your screen into central Washington. And as we cool off, that will give us a chance for some snow showers in the region. A blustery day as well as a rainy day. It's just going to be some gross weather for Halloween. Definitely want to have the raincoats out for the kids if you do plan on trick-or-treating. Lows for the overnight into the 40s. It's going to be very mild with uh, warm air and cloudy skies acting like an insulating blanket over us. And for our highs, back into the 50s, even some 60s. This should be the last day for a while that we see this, though, as much cooler weather is on the way. One of the reasons why we are talking about the possibility of some snow showers Tuesday night into Wednesday. Overall, we're thinking we're only going to see some occasional light spotty coverage Wednesday into Thursday. Friday, that's when our next storm comes and it will warm us up. And not before, we might see a little bit of snowy conditions in parts of the region as we get through the start of that storm and also as cool air rushes in behind that storm on Sunday. So a lot for us to track. We'll keep you updated on KXLY Plus, KXLY YouTube, and KXLY.com.